Hello, everybody, and welcome to the EMS Garage. I'm Chris Monterrey, your host, and we're coming to you from EMS Expo 2011 in New Orleans, Louisiana, or Nolens, as you call it. Uh, last night, we had a lot of fun. We were on Bourbon Street, probably a little too late, and I got to see some crazy costumes, but I hear that it's not so much, it's not very crazy uh, on Halloween, but it's kind of that way all the time. Um, we're here at the Physio Control Podcast Studio, and we're here with our sponsor as well uh, for this episode specifically, Sharps Terminator. And I'm joined by Denny and Michelle, and I'll let you guys introduce yourselves in a minute, and my co-host, Tim Noonan. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Oh, well, okay. Yeah? I got to bed a little earlier than you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true, sir. Uh, and uh, anything, anything fun you've been doing this past couple of days? Attending the conference, having some good presentations. We'll talk about that when we get uh, Kelly on here. All right, we definitely will. Uh, so joining us first is Michelle, and you have written a book, Sell Your Business for More Than It's Worth. Cool. Don't we all want to do that, sell your business for more than it's worth? But you are also the spokesperson for Sharps Terminator, and so tell me a little bit about your background and who you are. Sure. Um, my background, I've been an, an entrepreneur pretty much my entire life. I've owned eight very successful companies. Obviously, I just wrote the book titled Sell Your Business for More Than It's Worth. I've um, sold over 300 franchises. I've sold several hundred businesses. I've helped all different types of entrepreneurs and business owners improve their business, improve their cash flow, and plan their extra strategy, and sell their business for maximum value. I've also helped buyers from all walks of life buy the American dream and create their financial freedom, etc. I have different businesses that come to me all the time to, to want me to work with them and help them, etc. And typically I pass, you know, I usually turn down about 99% of opportunities that come my way, but I was so excited and delighted to be able to work with Medical Safety Solutions and the Terminator for a multitude of reasons. And I'm also um, founder and president of Advanced Medical Rehabs in addition. So, so people would often ask, well, what is, what is somebody that is an entrepreneur by trade want, want, want to do with a Sharps Terminator? But I understand that perhaps you have a relationship that, that brings you into the medical community a little Well, bit. sure. My husband is Dr. Rick Tucker, and he owns medical clinics. Uh, my background is in nursing, so I've been around healthcare for years and years and years. I sell a lot of different medical practices as well. I'm also asthmatic, and I have allergies, so I, too, um, take injections, asthma shot, allergy shots, really? epinephrine shots. Yes, I have a permanent bruise right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so that's why I was so excited about the industry. Okay, so uh, I want to come back to that in a minute because I, I think you have an interesting perspective as both a patient and somebody that's um, also delivered health care. So I think that that's very cool. Denny, um, tell us who you are and uh, why, doggone it, we're here to talk about the Sharps Terminator. Well, my name is Denny DiCiancio and I'm one of the founders of Medical Safety Solutions. I've been with them nine years, and since the beginning, and it's a, such an exciting product, uh, you just have to stick with it. Uh, and we're, we're just trying to save at least one life. If we could save one life, then it's all been worth it. Right. So, uh, and we've got a product that'll do it. So tell me a little bit about the Sharps Terminator and what it does. Sharps Terminator basically will destroy the needle at the point of use. When you place the needle in it across two electrodes, a positive and a negative, it'll heat the needle at 2200 degrees, pretty much vaporize the needle, and then it cuts it off at the nub and drops the remaining piece of metal down through a, an ultraviolet light, which then renders it all harmless. So you can then throw it in the wastebasket. So it reduces medical waste too? Yes. Wow. And so, can you show me show me how to do that? That works. Right through, and it's gone. Now, now, can you can we see what it what the end result is? Yeah, UV light. And that's battery operated. Yes. This is what you have. Wow. That's they're pretty much and 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 it's and and, oh they're hot. Sorry. Uh, uh, Well, they're melting the table. Uh, So. this will, um, as you said, will take care of any biological disease. You had it tested? We had it tested through Actor Labs, and they put a cocktail of viruses, AIDS, hepatitis, and all the heat-resistant viruses known. Put it on the needle, put it down through the, the Sharps Terminator, and then dissected the needle. Right. And they found it to be absolutely harmless. 
Really? They said it was no more harmful now than a paper clip. So can I take this now and throw it away in the trash? You can put it in the regular trash. Really? Yes. Wow. This, this, but this portion, would still need this to go would in a red go bag. In the red bag. Right. The same place you put a cotton ball. Mm -hmm. right. And you'd have to and follow your state laws on that. The sharp is completely gone from this. I don't see anything. It's in gone. There. Yeah, it's so, so now it's no I longer could, sharp. You know, rub it on my arm, and there's nothing. There's still, still a worry couple about. states. Just don't lick it. There's still a couple <laughs> states that will make you put it in the sharps container. Really? Uh, because it's the a laws syringe. are antiquated. Oh, interesting. But basically, you can get 30 percent more in the sharps box, but that tip off. Great. Mm -hmm. So, um, Tim, you were telling me before the show, uh, quickly, you had a you had an incident recent. Was that recently or? Yeah, I uh, asked my partner to put a sharp in the sharps container. We had several different organizations on the scene, and you know, wanted to make sure that sharp was out of the way. And I was in the spot where I could not get to the sharps container, so I passed it to him. I said, put it in the sharps container, and he didn't realize where it was or that we had one because, you know. The, I thought I had communicated to him where it was, and he put it in his pocket. So uh, it's important to know, and I guess I need to spend a bit more time on uh, this is the sharps container. This is important. And one of the problems we have with that is it's in a bag, so it's portable, but there's no easy way to close it and keep reusing it. Right. This, I don't know if it would fit in the bag and, or if we want to carry it. We're, we're designing a small one to fit the, the med pack and a lighter weight. So basically they can carry it out in the street, destroy the needles out there. Because we don't want the needles be traveling any further than they have to. So Michelle, as a, as a person that um, consumes healthcare as a patient, but as a person that's delivered healthcare, where do you see this of value? I mean, would you, is this even something you would even use in your home? Absolutely. And especially if they're going to make a smaller version, I can carry it in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. That's a really good point. But um, there's, there's a tremendous amount of applications for this, obviously, in the medical community. And for people do, that do have to give themselves injections at home. Um, one of my good friends, Brett Michaels, uh, rock star, celebrity apprentice, he constantly is having to give himself injections, diabetes injections. And I just spoke on stage with him the other day and he had to go behind stage to give himself an injection and he had nothing, you know, where did he put the needle? So right. he had to put it in the bag. So this is a, a, a tremendous resource and can be used in, in every medical facility, home use, etc. Well, and I also see, and I mean, maybe you guys already know this, but uh, um, going to Vegas, I, I guess that's the one first place that comes to mind where you go into all these bathrooms and they have big sharps containers on the wall. If you could just make it so easy so that people that do have to give themselves routine injections can go in and just, you know, they, it's right there on the thing, they do that and they throw it into the sharps container if they need to at that point. And you've now, you've now kind of gotten rid of that weird liability in a, in a hospitality environment too. I, I can see that there's so many uses for this, both at home, in the in the industrial place and then in our market as well are you guys what you um we were talking yesterday that you've received several awards so let's talk about these awards and uh where you got those yes well this this top award came from europe it was in belgrade and it was at the uh the international fair of the medical and dentistry and it was a very prestigious award and of course we we received it at the last uh paramedics show in baltimore Maryland. Okay, the MS Today, right? Yes, and there were 40 some products there, and they, we come up, we tied number one with a cardio uh, unit. Wow. So I thought that was pretty cool. Very cool. For a bunch of country folks. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, the uh, EMS World Magazine also had a panel of doctors vote on the most innovative product, and we won that award. Amazing. Okay. And I guess the Pro Med Network also yes, put it we on give, us. <laughs> we give you a, we give you an award last year too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So that's uh, pretty good. Four awards in one year, not too bad. That, that's a great that's a great start, anyway, right? I think so. Very cool. Um, so tell me about your distribution model. Where are you guys where are you guys heading with this? Are you guys international, worldwide? I mean, where's your where's your we're market worldwide. reach? Worldwide, worldwide. And um, we were talking about some of the. Um, some of the places that you're already distributing. You have distributors in all of these states currently? We have, uh, the United States, we have master distributors throughout the United States. Really, okay. Yeah. And do you have distribution models with, um, say, other vendors or um, uh, third parties like Boundary or something like that? Or are well, you guys doing it sp specifically? The master yourself? distributors will work through these other, uh, okay. other entities. Very nice, wow. Have um, you looked at the difference in cost in disposing of uh, 
the sharps containers after using this uh, compared with before using Yes, we have cost studies that we've done. I don't think it's on the back of this one, but basically you can see the cost savings. Uh, I don't know if you can show it on the camera or not, but uh, this is 200 needles and that's 2,000 needles. Oh, wow. And basically what it would take, if you had to put those in the sharps box, it would take 14 sharps boxes to put these in versus one. So, so there's a big savings. Uh, well, and then another savings is instead of using the expensive retractable safety needle, which is 50 to 70 cents more than this needle, this one's about two to three cents, they can save 50 cents every time they give an injection by just reducing going back to this. Uh, and there's one more. Um, as, a, as an administrator of a service and the person that has to deal with this, workers comp. Workers, workers comp, comp the, I mean, that's, that is worth one sharp... Uh, uh, one workman's the, comp claim could be yeah. as much as $250,000 or more right. if they've contracted the disease. If they, if they get a disease from it, you're absolutely right. But it's just the testing and the, and the person's mental state that whole year. Jamie and I were talking yesterday. He's, he's like, you know, the, the worst year of my life was when I had to go in and get retested and, yeah. and all of these things. And it's, it's scary. It's a very scary thing. For it really people. raises your anxiety level yep. and, and really can cause a tremendous amount of stress. And this product is so convenient, so easy to use. It's really a no-brainer. Very cool. So, Denny and Michelle, where can we find out more information about the Sharps Terminator? You can go to our website, sharpsterminator.us. Cool. And there's one that's .eu for Europe. Very so nice. you can see what's happening all around the world, but basically uh, you'll, you'll get a lot of information there. Very nice. Well, have you come up with the way of mounting it in an ambulance, uh, securing it? Yeah, we're working on the surface. I'm working on a mount that's kind of a mount that would hold the Terminator locked down with a hole with the red bag, so you can just burn it and drop it. Sounds great. Make nice. it real simple, because they want, everything has to be quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Well, in the ER everywhere. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Denny, Michelle, thank you guys for joining us and thanks for coming on and talking about the Sharps Terminator. I'm so excited. You guys do great work and uh, great book. I, uh, I'm hoping to pick up a copy now and read it. Um, everybody wants to sell something for more than, they, than it's worth. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's great. So thank you guys very thank much for coming much. on. I appreciate it. And don't forget